What is going on everybody? Welcome to a new tutorial series where I show you how you can make your very own machine friend that you can talk to. For example, I have my friend here. Let's see what they have to say. So first we'll start off with some, some pretty pressing questions like, uh, do you like pancakes? Do you like pancakes? We don't like to know. I like turtles. Okay. Uh, what about, uh, what is the color of the sky? What is the color of the sky? The color of the blue. Okay, okay. Uh, did you vote for Hillary or Donald? Did you vote for Hillary or Donald? I voted for the president. Okay, okay. Uh, let's ask some more pressing questions that we really need to know the answers for. What is the best song ever? What is the best song ever? Darren, Sandstorm. <laughs> no arguments there. What is the universe? What is the universe? The universe is a lie. <laughs> well, at least I have my friend. So, uh, you know, are you my pal, buddy? Are you my pal, buddy? He is. I'm not your pal, friend. Hmm. Hmm. That really hurt my feelings. Why would you hurt me? That really hurt my feelings. Why would you hurt me? I'm not your buddy. I'm just a little bit of a dick. <laughs> so the initial purpose for me to make a chatbot was I was hoping to have some sort of chatbot that could converse with viewers on the Twitch stream of the self-driving car AI plays GTA uh, stream. Uh, and in that, basically, it's a chatbot that you could pretty much use everywhere. You wouldn't have to necessarily use the exact same source that I used uh, for training data and all that, but the methodology pretty much stays the same. Um, and really, just like any task with machine learning, the biggest thing is just getting the data and manipulating the data to be useful. So anyways, uh, with that, as I started to look into, okay, how do we actually go about making a chatbot in um, Python and TensorFlow? I found a bunch of examples, a bunch of like weak ways to make chatbots, nothing that was going to be super robust. Also, I had a little bit of trouble trying to find like a decent data set to actually do it. So one of the more common data sets that people tend to or seem to be using is like this, this Cornell movie database, which uh, contains 220,000 conversational exchanges between 10,300 pairs of movie characters. Uh, so this one's actually like a super common one to be used uh, for a variety of reasons. You've got uh, the different movies. You've also got different, as it says here, different genders, different characters, stuff like that. So we can kind of begin to pull these apart um, but I didn't really like the fact that we only have 220,000 exchanges. Uh, I, I wanted to be able to find something that had even more than that. That way, if you really did want to pare it down to really specific situations, you'd like to have much more data. So anyways, I continued my search and I found myself on thinking like, well, what about Reddit? Because Reddit has uh, basically you know, just tons of comments on tons of topics. It's all sorted for you and all of that. So I thought, hey, I wanna use Reddit. So my first thought was I'll use the Python Reddit API. I'll go through that and I'll just start parsing from Reddit over time. Well, the Reddit API has a pretty strict uh, API limitations. Uh, I forget what they are now. I mentioned it in this tutorial, but it's nothing that's gonna let you be able to even parse like millions of rows without a long period of time or violating the terms of service. So, so moving along, um, I ended up stumbling across this awesome data set post from two years ago. Uh, but basically you can read the title. It's, I have every publicly available Reddit comment. Um, and basically it's everyone. I, I, I don't really know the start date of Reddit to be honest, uh, but I believe this goes all the way back to 2007? I can't remember. But anyways, it goes quite a ways back. And we'll see in a little bit anyway. But it's 1.7 billion comments, uh, which is a lot. That's a lot more than 220,000. So, so basically, if you're not familiar with Reddit, welcome to the internet. Um, basically, Reddit is a place of toxic... It's a place where people get to talk with each other. Um, anyway, uh, here we have a few, few options. And for this tutorial, if you really want, if you want to follow along, you have also a few options. First of all, um, 
you can, this would be, yeah, so this is for just one month of comments. That will be more than enough to create a chatbot that is pretty good, that will be like the one that you saw in the beginning of this video. Uh, so you can download the torrent for that and use your favorite torrent. I don't, doesn't really matter. Um, and then, or torrent program rather. And then there's also, this is the full uh, torrent. Um, now, I've downloaded this on multiple occasions, mostly because like I, I tried to move this to a, a, a machine in the cloud and I didn't want to upload it, so I just re-downloaded it. And the first time I downloaded it, it actually went really quick, uh, the, the full archive. The second time I tried to download it, it was horribly slow, like it took days, um, which was unfortunate because I was paying for the machine. So you know, try it out. And if it's too slow, maybe try the one month because you, you really can, you really can get by with just the one month, but it's cool to have all the data again for, you know, if you want to go through it and uh, be really specific. So for example, you could, you could train an algorithm to work purely on specific subreddits. And, I, and I, it was kind of funny as when I found this, um, somebody somewhere was suggesting that someone even, like they were like excited that someone might do that in the future. Anyway, it's somewhere in there, but interesting. The other th option that you have is this one right here. It's, it's a, it, it links to a comment about 1.7 loaded on a Bing query, um, but it's actually even more than that. So well, let me pull it up real quick. Great. So anyway, um, there's this table, but as you can see, it actually goes all the way to current so uh, it's currently November, so it doesn't have the full table. Um, but anyways, these are all the comments, right? So on BigQuery, unfortunately, I'm just an idiot and I, I apparently can't write um, good BigQuery queries. Uh, and I found it to be very cost prohibitive to work off BigQuery. But if one of you kind viewers happens to figure out how to write a really uh, efficient BigQuery poll so we can actually poll, I would love to be able to pull very recent tables. So the 1.7 billion comment download uh, or the torrent only goes up to May of 2015. So it has no idea, uh, like for kafefe is not in its vocabulary, right? So it would be cool to have a more current chatbot. Um, so yeah, if anybody knows how to do it, like I said, I, I, I couldn't get polls to be big enough to be like cost effective. Like I, I think I pulled maybe, I don't know, less than a hundred thousand rows if I recall right. And it ended up costing me $30. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> no no clue how that happened, but it did. So so I stopped. Yeah, so you can get that data set there. Uh, and like I said, you can either use BigQuery, you can download the torrent um, and really you can get by with just a month's worth of comments. And really the further you come down, like there's gonna be way more comments in the month of October. Um, of 2017 then the last one which was may 2015 i think may of 2015 had like 60 million comments um and then once you have them if you actually go to reddit um just understand basically the structure of reddit if you don't don't understand it so we can just go to like the home page here um and as you can see you've got like parent comments and then every child is like a response to that parent and then you might have multiple responses and it kind of just comes out in this tree form and so what we need to do is actually pull these apart and start start to pair them together in parent-child or comment and reply manner, uh, which can take a little bit of processing and all that, but it's not something that we can't do. So anyways, that's gonna be our goal and this is gonna be the data set that we wanna use. So I'm actually gonna cut it here just simply because downloading the data set is probably gonna take a while. Uh, but once you have one of the examples, if you do use BigQuery, by the way, um, your format's going to be probably different uh, than what we're using here, but I really do want to see a big query poll. So if someone does it, please do share. Um, anyways, once you have the data and you're ready to go, you'll be good for the next tutorial, and I'll see you in that.